Right, I want to go through now our ook the maggots. It's very, very important. Now, what I tend to do is always start off on a single maggot just to see what the response of the fish is. More often than not, the F1s prefer a single than a double. But hooking the maggot, are we getting in, Rich? Are we getting in, mate? Yeah? Right, so what I see time and time again as an angling coach is the, the anglers hooking the maggot too deep. So the two breathing vents there, that hook, beast right through the middle. Now, look at that. You'd be bumping loads of fish on them. The trouble with that is it's just too too deeply hooked, and you know if it was a thicker gauge hook, you get all the juice coming out of that, and it just you see what I mean. It just wouldn't look natural at all. So forget about that one. That's not how you hook a maggot. Basically, what you want to do, the two beaving vents there, and just coming down from that, there's that little frilly bit. Literally, it's just a case of just nicking it through that little frilly bit. So you can see all that hook's exposed. And that's that's what we want. So it's got a nice wriggle in it. If you're putting two on, let's say more often than not, single's probably better. But if you're putting two on, you put it on the other way. So it's through the thin end, and again, you're just going to nick it. You don't want to burst that maggot. Oh, look at that. Jay, if you were an F1, you'd have it, wouldn't you? Oh. I think you'd nail that and the rest of the like million pints of maggots I've got. Only joking, Jay. <laughs> but yeah, so let's um, let's cut to me shipping in, tipping a load of maggots in, and booshing into an F1. Yeah!